Hey everybody, this is Mr. Bortnick for AP Calculus AB. This is Unit 6, Integration and Accumulation of Change. Today's topic is 6.14, Selecting Techniques for Anti-Differentiation. Enjoy today's notes. Welcome to 6.14, Selecting Techniques for Anti-Differentiation. So we spent all of Chapter 6, or at least the second half of Chapter 6, learning how to take antiderivatives and learning a bunch of different techniques on how to do it. Now, realistically, on the AP exam or on a test or on a quiz, they're not going to say, hey, use the power rule. Hey, use substitution. You're going to need to be able to look at various problems that there are, and you're going to need to try to figure out on your own which method is the best. So 614 here is, is nothing new. It's really just let's review what the, the, the methods that we've talked about are so far in this chapter, and really just to take some time and try some of these problems on your own and see if you can identify a method that works for you. So let's review. I'm going to order these really in order of importance for this. So we're only talking about the uh, calculus A, B uh, topics that, that we've gone over. Um, you know, B, C maybe might be some, some different videos, some different time. But the most important rule that we need to know is from section 6.7. That is essentially the power rule uh, for antiderivatives. That is by far the most important one that you've got to know. The second most important one was what our previous video went over, 6.9, uh, which was U substitution. After that, I would say that you know our our, our one-off uh, derivative rules that that like turn into anti-derivative rules uh, from chapter two and chapter three of uh, the trig derivatives, so trigonometry. Talked about sine and cosine and tangent and all of those. Uh, then we also talked about our inverse trig. Those antiderivatives. And then we talked about exponentials and logarithms. All of these uh, were from videos in 6.8. So all of those were addressed in 6.8. Um, 6.10. Uh, we did not do uh, at least this school year, but for completion purposes, I'll just mention you can do uh, use long division in order to do some uh, integration problems, and you can also do uh, completing the square as well. But again, in the uh, 2020 2021 year, uh, we are not going over those, we skipped those. Uh, just due to time. So uh, we're going to focus really on these main ones. I'd say the ones that uh, we want to definitely be making sure that we, we know for sure are going to be these five. But again, the most important one is the power rule. Second most, in power is, uh, most important is U substitution. And then we've got these other ones here as well. Um, so again, the goal for today is to try some practice problems, see which of these rules applies for it. Uh, the answers will be posted. Check them out. Feel free to come to class with any questions that you've got uh, or stop by office hours. Good luck on your mastery check this week and have a great rest of your day.